Joining us now is Morningstar analyst Seth Goldstein. He has an overweight rating on Tesla at a $220 price target. Seth, uh, it's good to have you this morning. So, uh, I mean, at 220 that price target now says uh, you think that uh, the stock's a double, uh, I guess, from here over a certain period of time. I'm just wondering what gets you there um, in terms of the fundamentals, the delivery outlook, uh, and, and everything that's, that else that filters into this price. Yeah, it's, it's a great question. And when we look at Tesla, we still see growth, just not at the historical growth rates that were in line with management's previous statements of 50% delivery growth each year. We, we forecast this year in 2023 a 24% growth rate in delivery, a little over 1.6 million. And longer term over the next 10 years, that's about a 19% of revenue growth in automotive. And so we still see growth and expansion, and we think Tesla will deliver over 5 million vehicles by 2030. However, it's just a uh, smaller growth rate than previously uh, had been. So, you know, we still think growth is there. We still think the cost reduction initiatives will help boost profit growth and excess of revenue growth. So we like the long-term story here, but it's fairly slower growth uh, than, than previous. And I think the market's struggling to figure out how to price that in. Then you add the Twitter overhang and we've seen shares take a massive hit over the last year. Well, for sure. Um I mean, let me just maybe frame it a different way. Tesla shares from the two years going into the, its peak price in November of 2021 was up 1,800 percent. OK, since then, down 75 or so percent, um, still up 400 percent from that November 2019 level. Um, maybe it became a mania on the way up and we created a fundamental story around it. Maybe it never had a business being a trillion dollar company. And now it's a 20 times this coming year's earnings, it's the same as Apple's multiple. Maybe that's not a mispricing. Well, I, I still think that Tesla will have a higher long-term growth rate. And, you know, when you look at, we look at a year ago, we thought Tesla was very overvalued. We had a one-star rating on the name. We thought the market was pricing mm -hmm. in too optimistic of a scenario, assuming that uh, Tesla would become the number one automaker, potentially even get closer to Elon Musk. 20 million vehicles a year goal. We never thought that was very realistic. We were more in the 5 million vehicle category, which we still are over the long term. And so we still see the growth. But, you know, clearly, I think the market is pricing this thing as if it's only going to get to two to three million vehicles a year, as if the profit margin is not going to happen. As some of the ancillary businesses like autonomous driving software and insurance and robotaxi aren't going to materialize as management has expected.